I am back with another video, three new stories. First one is about release of Tigrayans, Tigrinia speaking members of Ethiopian National Defense Force who were put in prison around two years ago. It seems Gatacho's meetings in Addis Ababa are producing results. Uh, secondly, uh, Romia region based splinter orthodox faction has been completely dismantled it seems because dozens of remaining uh, appointee bishops apologized to the Holy Synod in a meeting a few hours ago and thirdly the Oromo Liberation Army OLA has released a statement in response to PMRB's remarks about the OLA at Parliament's session yesterday. Yesterday, PMRB spoke about uh, talks between OLA and government. Uh, what did the PM say and what is OLA's position uh, about PMRB's remarks? Uh, firstly, viewers, uh, we know that when the war broke out between Tigray forces and uh, Ethiopian National Defense Force supported by the military in November 2020s, uh, hundreds of Tigrinya speaking members of Ethiopian National Defense Force were arrested and they were put in prisons. They were not combatants. They, they were not in Tigray mostly. Uh, but they were part of ENDF uh, performing their duties in different parts of the world, different parts of the country. Uh, but uh, when the war broke out, since they were from Tegara, they were taken speaking that they were arrested. It was feared that they could uh, support uh, Tegara Defense Force. So they remained in prison for more than two years. And one of the demands of Tigray authorities uh, has been the release of these Tigrinya speaking members of Ethiopian National Defense Force and other Tigrayan civilians who are still behind the bars. Now pictures are coming in from Garbasa prison camp which is in Jigjaga, Somali region of Ethiopia. Uh, you, you can see the pictures on your screen. These are reportedly ENDF members, members of Ethiopian military, members of Ethiopian National Defense Force from Tigray who remained imprisoned at this camp for more than two years. They have been released. They are returning to their homes. Question is, are they being restored to their positions? In ENDF, it's not clear. Will their salaries be paid? We don't know. But at least uh, the ENDF members are being released. Gatacho's meetings are producing results. Gatachoreda, since his uh, appointment as uh, uh, Tegara interim government, has been very busy. He traveled to Addis Ababa. He held top level meetings, met with uh, Shimala Sabdisa, met with Amash Shide. Uh, Ethiopian finance minister and we're seeing now that uh, speaking ENDF members are being released and we could see release of funds for Tegarai too because it was Ethiopian government's main demand that funds will be released for Tegarai after the formation of interim government. Now when interim head has been appointed, interim government uh, is being formed, uh, we could see release of funds for Tegarai. Uh, secondly, viewers, uh, it, it seems that the supplanter orthodox faction which tried to form a separate synod in the Oromia region of Ethiopia has been largely dismantled. We know that uh, three main archbishops were leading this faction, Abune uh, Saviros, Abune Zena Marcos, Abune Evastortius. Uh, Orthodox Church revoked their titles when three archbishops made appointment of 26 uh, bishops to Romia, to the parts of Ethiopia. Later, a government uh, mediated an agreement between the 
three archbishops and the synod, main synod, west in Addis Ababa. After confrontation between the government and church, church had called for nationwide protests, uh, government banned protests. Uh, but after head-on uh, confrontation between the two sides, government stepped back. Uh, uh, government was backing the supplanter faction based in Romeo. Romeo government, federal government, both were backing them. Government stepped back and agreement was signed between the three archbishops and the synod based in Addis Ababa. But the appointee bishops uh, did not apologize because their appointment by the three archbishop uh, was rejected by the church and it was one of the main reasons behind the start of this conflict a few weeks ago. These appointee bishops were demanding that their appointments be respected uh, but Orthodox Church refused to accept their appointments and individually they started apologizing to Orthodox Church. Orthodox Church gave them five day deadline a few days ago and uh, last night uh, the church issued a statement saying that 17 uh, appointee bishops have apologized. They met with the top two archbishops of the Synod, Abu Abraham, Abu Petros, and there they submitted a letter of apology. The other side claims that it only agreed to accept the agreement signed between the two sides, so it wasn't an apology. Uh, it's a form of apology. The appointee bishops uh, have realized that they cannot survive. They are finding it difficult to get support from Orthodox followers in Romania. So they are now apologizing, you can say. It is happening ahead of crucial meeting due to uh, take place on Thursday. Uh, tomorrow meeting will be held uh, and two important issues going to come into discussions are first one this supplanter factions activities which has been largely dismantled now and secondly take a archbishop's moves regarding formation of membre silama take a prime church and appointment of take archbishops for foreign diocese now, issue in Oromia has been resolved largely, it seems, though still the archbishops, uh, older archbishops, they will descend to their diocese in Oromia. Uh, but it seems that church has managed to successfully dismantle the Oromia region-based supplanter faction. The church showed unity. Church followers showed unity and uh, government had to make concessions. Government had to abandon its support for supplanter Romijan based faction. That is why the faction is now apologizing. Let's see what happens in the case of Tegarai. Will Tegarai archbishops attend Thursday's meeting in Addis Ababa with the Synod or not? We will update you tomorrow. The early viewers, Oromo Liberation Army issued a statement a few hours ago in response to Bim Abi's remarks at the House of Representatives. Pim uh, yesterday uh, addressed the members of parliament. He presented six month performance of his government and he talked uh, on several issues. He spoke on uh, the issue of uh, talks between OLA and Ethiopian government. He had said that in the past 10 times, government tried to engage with the Oromo Liberation Army for dialogue, but OLA did not respond positively because OLA was lacking. Uh, a centralized structure. There was no unity of command in OLA. Uh, but he said that efforts were underway for the resolution of the conflict. OLA issued a statement uh, in response to Abhi's remarks. OLA says that uh, government's attempts in the past uh, to start dialogue were not sincere. Government mostly tried to involve local elders. Purpose was to convince OLA fighters to surrender. Uh, so, never in the past uh, a sincere effort was made to resolve the conflict uh, through dialogue. Uh, like in 2019, OLA claims that an effort was made through local figures to dismantle OLA. The purpose of earlier attempts of mediation were 
was to dismantle OLA, they were not sincere efforts. Secondly, OLA says, it is mere propaganda to say that OLA lacks centralized structure, OLA is united, OLA is high command, uh, it is just a propaganda by the government. And thirdly, OLA reiterated its commitment to dialogue, that it is committed to dialogue, but dialogue under the supervision of some third party, international third party, th th this is what OLA wants for mediation. And lastly, OLA uh, showed some signs of hope. OLA says that there are signs that uh, the dialogue could start. Very important, this last part of uh, the OLA statement. OLA says that though PM Abhi's remarks are uh, ill-timed uh, uh, and misleading, still there are prospects that talks could start. I reported two days ago that uh, some foreign diplomats from the US and Norway were contacting both parties, OLA and uh, Ethiopian federal government. So, uh, Africa Union is being involved to by Oromia region based members of parliament of Ethiopia. So an effort is being made to start a regional and international effort for the resolution of the conflict in Oromia so far. Uh, prospects are very encouraging for the start of these peace talks between OLA and Ethiopian government. Thank you for watching.